Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> I'm shuffling your cards. My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading, Gemini. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure, Gemini, to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how we keep up with y'all through the comments, Gemini, right? Uh, as well as that, I just want you to, I also want to ask Gemini if you enjoy this reading or if you just enjoy my vibe, Gemini. I'd really appreciate it if you were to go the extra step and give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini, because it does help out my channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it whenever you guys take the extra step uh, to support my tarot reading channel in that way, Gemini. As well as that, Gemini, I would like to ask, when it comes to receiving this reading, be sure to rely on your intuition, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Gemini. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended. Uh, remember, these cards are here just to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making a choice in your life. Uh, my beautiful Gemini, because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, right? So let's just get into your reading, Gemini, with your objective cards for this week. So coming in for your objective cards this week is the Knave of Discs and the Six of Swords coming in here. So interesting. This is such an energy, Gemini, of really kind of a, a challenge for you to wear your heart on your sleeve almost with something where it's almost like you choosing to be the uh i don't want to even say it's choosing to be the bigger person because i don't feel like there's a situation gemini where it's like you are being the mature one or whatever i get this sense that it's like you're the one taking some type of risk here six of swords where it's just like maybe normally gemini if you're like a little bit more reserved and you don't really let someone like this almost just like one of those things whatever it is that you've been having reservations about uh gemini on um, like what you should do or how you should handle it the suggestion from spirit is seemingly where it's just like wearing your heart on your sleeve right you look at this individual gemini and you see this this woman who is standing in front of everyone and it's actually like it's looking like she's holding a heart <laughs> out and i'm pretty sure it's like some type of set honey this deck this necronomicon deck it gets dark real quick darling um details of that don't matter but essentially she's showing this heart there's a spotlight on the heart and i kind of see this as like vulnerability in a sense gemini so there is this seemingly calling for you to put a spotlight on your heart on your vulnerability what is it that you're feeling what is it that you're being called to sharing with somebody else right um there is this sense of uh putting yourself out there in some way with the six of swords coming in as well from it uh, there is there is this sense of um, well, let's actually pull some clarifiers before we get too deep into this message. Um, let's actually use this deck. Uh, so let's see, Gemini. Let's see these clarifiers. So right off the bat, we have six of pentacles flying out, five of cups, and the emperor card. I spoke them, but I'm still gonna show the artwork of them. Gemini, emperor, five of cups and then the six of pentacles so in this dynamic definitely notice in both of these cards gemini that you're moving on right very much so speaking on transitions right with both of these you're, there is just moving um and so a lot of water involved in this as well not only just in the landscape of it but also in these cups representing water representing emotions so it's definitely probably an emotionally challenging week for you um in some type of capacity uh gemini especially with the six of pentacles in this emperor card situation here something that uh <clears throat> something that you how would i say this gemini You've put a lot of energy into this, right? And this gem, uh, this Gemini card, this Emperor card comes in in the sense of where you initially felt really good with it. You feel like it was in your element. But, you know, there is probably this sense of where it's like you need to uh, be vulnerable a little bit. Even if you're like a, let's just say, 
uh, Gemini, you're a professional baker, right? You bake breads for a living. This is a sense in this dynamic where it's just like, perhaps for some of you guys, you need to be willing to ask for some help, uh, Gemini, even if it's in asking for uh, help in making bread. You can be good at something. Doesn't mean that you um, have to just continually do it alone. Or, on the same token, Gemini, something that I want to say is, like, if you're putting energy into a situation because you know that it could be profitable, right, with this Emperor card because you feel strongly about it, if they're not, if it's not being rece if received, right, if you're putting your heart out there on something and it's not being received, no matter how often you try to put energy into it, right, Six of Pentacles, right, no matter what you do, no matter how much of an empowered place that you come at with it, no matter how much, no matter what game plan that you have, uh, Gemini, when it comes to it if you're just hitting a brick in the like it's like hitting i keep on seeing someone just slamming their head against a brick wall right there is this sense of just like just moving on from it as well right that's part of the beauty of why you would have this name of disc of just like really just like one like you know just like really just putting yourself out there in the most vulnerable way because it's one of those things of just like take it or leave it energy you know it's just like will you have me or will you not right you want to be in this place of where it's like you're not you're gonna like have the situation when the situation comes to a close you're not going to be thinking about what you should have said what you should have done you know it's not one of those what it could have should have situations like you're wanting this final just like closure on something so you don't have to think about it anymore or continue putting energy into it in some type of uh capacity right you want to know if with this world card coming out if you if there's a future with you in this situation or not with this job with this person with you know with this game plan whatever it is right you, are, you want to know if they're going to be part of that big picture for you or if this is a cycle that needs to come to an end or close off in some way right if you, this is all in the name of breaking cycles right and just getting um i just keep you in closure on something six of swords wanted to come out again yeah and there is this, this sense of just like uh, moving on but you know we'll see right so we go oh, we went over your objective cards now let's get into your actual spread so you guys actually got gemini four cards today that we're going to get into i got your past present and future uh cards and we're going to start with your past what you've been dealing with and what you're coming out of in the process of coming out of this fourth card is the sun card by the way the extra card so it is just under we'll get into this at the end see how this even is relevant um but yeah let's get into your past card now gemini with your eight of pentacles now with the eight of pentacles i didn't show you show y'all the card long enough with the eight of pentacles gemini this is a card of research this is a card of learning so you definitely have been in this place of probably observing a situation really just like being like okay like reading it out get trying to see if you can get more information is something that i'm hearing right so let's get some clarifiers on this see what's going on here uh, Gemini. All right, Gemini. So my camera cut off for, I think at my storage was too much. So I deleted, I think over like a hundred videos. <laughs> so the clarifiers that I got for your eight of pentacles, uh, Gemini is the temperance card coming in for you as well as the knight of wands with the page of wands coming in for you so in this dynamic right off the bat what it is that you were gathering more information about what you're looking into is like because you were being patient at this time with this temperance card coming in here you're being patient you're just like it seems to be uh gemini you're just like all right universe <laughs> that lisp lisp right there out of nowhere darling um you were kind of just like all right universe gemini you are in this place where you're just ready to receive whatever message whatever whatever guidance that the universe had right or just like going with wherever the path was meant to take you right where how waiting for the situation to play out long story short right and so with this page of wands and this knight of wands you were kind of just in this place of just being like okay like gathering information looking you're looking around right you're just being like all right do i want this do i want that like what have you right you're just kind of just in this waiting game waiting for something to happen so it's just like and once you have an i had an idea of like where it is that you needed to go that's where you would charge into right whether it was something new or something old but i do get the sense gemini that there is this push again of just transitioning into something new especially with those 
that eight of cups energy and that six of swords energy like i am going to say like just if i were to be receiving the reading it definitely does seem to be pushing um the sense of transitioning from this one situation that you seemingly have like such a obsession over uh, i am gonna say gemini so interesting in that way because especially with the eight of pentacles i feel like you yourself could acknowledge where there's something that uh i mean by you being in the state of trying to gather more information on something gemini it does let me know uh yourself that you are so very self-aware at the very least on um something needing to change right or something needing to like you needed more information on something something wasn't feeling quite right or something wasn't feeling like 100 in a situation gemini and then we get into your high priestess right then we get into your intuition um and this is your present energy this is where your intuition is coming into play here uh gemini where you're kind of uh usually in this sense it comes in and where it's like you kind of know the answer it's kind of like one of those things where it's just like the gut feeling that you're having that feeling that was just like that you, you kind of were you were able to acknowledge but you didn't want to address the elephant in the room you didn't want to come to terms with something right i feel like you're finally coming to terms with, it with this high priestess card this week so the clarifiers that we have for that high priestess card gemini is the king of wands coming in for you with the two of swords coming in as well as the five of cups coming in for you so definitely there's this common theme again uh gemini where it seems to be like you're moving on from something right five of cups is a situation where you're going out moving on <laughs> it's a situation where it's just like not something that you necessarily wanted to be in this place when you, you know it's kind of like one of those situations gemini where you're just like uh, did it have to be in this way did the story have the storyline have to play out in such a way you know that's just life gemini right you know there is like this sense of where you kind of knew that at some point you were going to have to come to terms with something and move on from it I do get this sense, right? Two of Swords, this is definitely the card, uh, Gemini, of indecision. Trying to pretend like there isn't a problem. Trying to just like, uh, it's like putting things on the back burner and if, hoping if you continually put things onto the back burner, Gemini, you are hoping that things kind of just like work to themselves out, right? That's probably something you're hoping for. Um, and then with the King of Wands coming in here, yeah i feel like this is just one of those this is it's this sense where it's like you're finally this week uh gemini even if you were kind of aware that you're you probably probably aren't surprised by how the situation is panning out right or how things are how the current events are turning uh right it's kind of like one of those things like you knew was, you had a strong uh intuition where it's just like yeah this is extremely likely likely for it to be this way right and it seems to be like this week you're coming to terms with the fact that it is this way and it just is like it's one of those things where it's just like i guess i can't help but feel like it just sucks uh like that's like the feeling that you get gemini where it's just like you kind of feel defeated in some sense right so not really pleasant <laughs> right not really in this pleasant sense like you I really get the sense you didn't want to like move on like you don't want to move on from some type of situation like you really want to keep clinging on to something and then we get into your future energy um gemini we get into your two of pentacles now this two of pentacles is a card of like you know similar to the two of swords where it's like you're weighing things out and don't really want to make a decision on anything don't really want to clear your plate you just keep stacking more on gemini for this being your future card something's happening with this right you're no longer you're going to be put into this place and no longer being able to just continually juggling it so let's look at the clarifiers right because i do just feel like there's just at some point it's kind of like a slow boil and once it boils over you can't really stop it anymore right at that point it's too late um so the clarifiers that we have for this gemini is the page of queens the knight of cups as well as the seven of Pet cups i must call this pentacles <laughs> so in this dynamic yeah definitely choices here you definitely had a lot of options here with the seven of cups here this does let me know probably gemini of where it's just like 
by like coming to terms with something um, that your intuition was tapping into, it does kind of seem to be like you're considering a bunch of possibilities of possible outcomes on something. Now with this Knight of Cups and this Page of Coins coming in here, I kind of feel like I get this sense, Gemini, where it's like some of these cups, you don't even, you're not even aware that they're around you, right? Maybe you're looking, because even, I wish I kept that Five of Cups out before I shuffled it back in. But with that Five of Cups, it's like you're looking at some of the glasses spilled, but you're not, you're missing like the two glasses that of liquid that are still there, um, sort of thing. And so... I do get, kind of get the sense, Gemini, where it's like you weren't considering certain cups because you were still grasping onto some old reality of old, like you're being super hopeful with something, so you weren't considering other cups. But once you finally come to terms with things, I do feel like you start noticing these other cups that you could choose from, other options that you choose from, because with this page of coins, it shows new communication paired with the Knight of Cups coming in here with new opportunity right opportunity and communication so i don't even feel like like you end up making your choice instead of juggling two pentacles you end up making a choice you find a pentacle that works for you but you know i don't get it's like the same pentacle i mean obviously it's not the same pentacle it's two different tarot decks but i kind of just get the sense that like the choice the pentacle that you're holding up here that you end up making a choice on gemini I feel like is completely unrelated to these two things that you're even trying to juggle and manage right now um so it's almost just like in this dynamic you're kind of being like your biggest blockade uh blockade towards bringing in some type of new energy because of like this almost like borderline um I, when i say obsession i just i don't mean it in like a negative way uh gemini i just mean it in a way where it's just like something that you put a lot of energy into and like you don't want to move on from right i feel like it's just by only focusing on that you just start being blind to like anything else that could be possible for you is all so that's the cards that we have for you two of pentacles now let's get into your special card right you get into your sun card which was your extra card that came out uh gemini and this is the card of having your cake and eating it too but let's see what this is about it's the best card in the tarot uh, this is the five of pentacles by the way or keep wanting to say pentacles cups by the way that i was talking about before gemini where it's like you look at these spilled cups and it just feels bad but like if you just turned around there's two new cups here right it's like once you like change your direction you realize with this two of cups here like there's two other cups that you weren't even two other opportunities because that's what the cups represent gemini is like different opportunities um could represent people as well uh and just yeah different opportunities open themselves up that you kind of just you are aware of i don't feel like they're poured in that moment i feel like they've been poured and ready and just waiting you just haven't noticed them so let's getting into those the details for this sun card uh we have um more major arcanas uh the temperance card following you so being patient at this time right ten of wands with this hermit card so with the sun being attached right seems like i mean this is kind of like the end of the tunnel right this is what it is when we're all trying to uh claim right trying to go to it does seem to be addressing this uh weight that current weight uh ten ten of wands is that burden card so whatever it is that you were uh that's taking up all your energy right now uh gemini there is like the only way to get to the sun there is this calling to address this burden right here you can't basically you can't continue pretending like there isn't a problem in this situation that's because it is weighing you down it is affecting you the hermit card and the temperance card comes in as this place of self-reflection yeah patience is key but i feel like you're putting patience towards necessary like you're putting patience in the wrong situation right you're putting patience and waiting for someone else rather than putting patience in um investing your patience in for your own like what it is that you're trying to create it doesn't really make sense <laughs> i'm trying like i'm thinking out loud at this point what am i trying to like have like a an idea in mind i'm trying to think of the proper words for it but i don't know i feel like you're practicing patience with the wrong people or the wrong situations gemini i feel like you're practicing patience and giving the benefit of the doubt to things that are like burdensome to you when they shouldn't be like you shouldn't be practicing patience towards that and you should be just more so in the self-reflective uh place uh gemini because it just feels like you're doing something that's just not for your greatest good and you're like you're just waiting 
out on something for somebody for the benefit of like seemingly for the benefit of somebody else or um yeah i feel like it's just like misplaced patience is something and just keep on hearing misplaced patience so yeah gemini that's the reading that i have for you if you enjoyed this re uh, weekly reading i would love for you to let me know in the comments below that you did which cards resonated um as well as be sure giving this video a like and subscribe if it did um but also gemini i do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs not just gemini uh so if you have a friend that sends a tarot or even if they are not gemini i would really appreciate it if you were to share my weekly uh videos with your friend and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them as well but until next time my beautiful gemini i love you so much bye